Hey guys, good morning, how are you? Well, today is going to be my last little post of my introduction. And yes, you hear my chickens in the background. We are in city limits. Pretty nice sized city, but we have gangster chickens everywhere. So I um, probably have to be a little quick on this uh, video. I don't want to get jumped. Uh, have y'all watch me get jumped. And then y'all post it everywhere. That wouldn't be cool at all. But anyway. Um, over the past couple of posts that I've been doing, um, you should see where there were, um, constant highlights of me being depressed, um, suicidal, um, possibly antisocial, um, a couple of things like that, um, rarely happy at any point and that's what this end post is I am happier than ever and the reason for that is is I've embraced my past a lot of people don't they run from it they look at it as um oh I don't want nobody to know that you're going to get judged regardless because you're going to have people that don't think you should do this or think you should do that and things might work those things that they are thinking just might work in their life but not maybe not work in yours and that's when you have to find and um pay attention to yourself mainly and find out what works for you me um i found that I find myself more confident when I'm surrounded by some some fashion of love rather is uh, being able to do something for my kids and see them smile um, doing something for my partner and they appreciate it now those same things I might not get because you know how kids are they feel that they just should deserve everything um i know and other ms warriors know that some partners now knowing us being sick they're not as supportive or loving regardless of what we do or what we don't do so um I know it's hard, the, 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 the level of hardness is so different. That gauge is so different with everybody. And I've never said that what I went through was worse than anybody else. And I'm not saying that now. And, but we have to stop allowing our past to dictate who we are in the present which dictates our future which returns the cycle back over again and so I realized right now I've gone from 15 pills three times a day to three pills actually no two pills one I take five a day and one I take four a day and my treatment which I haven't had over a month um, I can say that I'm actually doing a little better and the only reason for that is because I've found out where one of my stressors are Trying to get someone to, trying to get the people around me to care about me in some form of fashion. And what I found out that is some of the people that I've surrounded myself with, rather it might be friends, new friends, old friends, family members. 
some can be bitter um some can be just in a bad place and they want to bring you down as well pay pay close attention who you surround yourself around with this illness you need a lot of positiveness so you have to cut people loose even sometimes being an adult with adult kids, you have to just say, hey, um, get a book, read on it, go online, Google MS, you know, show them, show them the people um, that are posting these uh, uh, posts like me and, and show them maybe, just, just maybe, one of us will open their eyes to the fact that their parents, their friend, their wife, their husband is going through what they're actually stating that they're going through. So it is May 20th, 2015. I have MS. MS doesn't have me. And I know how to keep it that way. I am going to strive regardless of how many times I fall, I trip, I get pushed back no matter how many steps. I see my light. My light is my soul in spirit to care about others and that that flames me to become a better person because I know what I went through and I know there are other people out there that's been going that has gone through the same thing and it's hard to sit up here and say hey I've been beaten my husband beats me and I know it's hard for some men to sit up here and say hey my wife or my girlfriend beats me or verbally abuses me or just the fact to sit up and say I've been raped or I'm suicidal I'm depressed the world has made it so hard for us to sit up here and ask for help because one no one believes us two Oh well, sometimes people look at it as it's happening everywhere, you know, whatever. Um, and we're so fix fixated on crazy things. Um, things that once we're gone, it, it's not going to matter. So I end this post with. I don't look to be perfect. I look to be who I am. And who I am is one hell of a special guy. And no one from this point is going to dictate me, nor am I going to allow my past to dictate that in a bad way. I'm just going to feed off of it. And it's going to motivate me to sit up here and do what I'm doing. So this is what I ask for you guys. Tap into my strength. Tap into my spirit, my faith. I've posted my, um, my FaceTime, my kick. You already see my inbox on Facebook, my text number. You just need anybody to talk to. You just need someone to listen. I know I might be miles away, heck, I might be down the street. Take it, please, because I know how I felt. So, you guys have a happy and lovely morning, and God bless. Inspirational Belief, out.